it's been four months since Crosby Mayor James Hunter was arrested on three felony charges. Tonight, Hunter talks exclusively with our own Clayton Castle for the first time since the arrest and discusses a new allegation that he's facing. It's, um, it's very tough, um, very um, emotional. That's Crosby Mayor Jim Hunter talking on camera exclusively with Lakeland News for the first time since his arrest in March on felony charges of theft by swindle, second degree assault with a dangerous weapon, and lawful gambling fraud. Tonight, he's facing new allegations after he was cited last week for filing a false police report after running into Tom McCartan, the man Hunter allegedly swindled money from, at the Crosby Dairy Queen back in June. Hunter says that while the two men were both in the Dairy Queen at the same time, it was McCartan who broke the restraining order, not Hunter. <clears throat> Mr. Hunter has a restraining order against Mr. McCartan that prohibits Mr. McCartan from harassing Mr. Hunter. Certainly, giving someone the finger would certainly define harassment. Going into a public place when you know someone else is there and remaining and remaining there, that's also harassing. You're not supposed to do that if you have a restraining order against you. Mr. Hunter was cited after telling the Crosby Police Department that McCartan brushed shoulders with him at the Dairy Queen, which would violate the restraining order. But Lieutenant Kevin Randolph of the Crosby Police Department says that's simply not true. We reviewed the videotape from the business. It showed that Tom McCartan does not, in fact, make any physical contact with James Hunter and in fact stays a respectable distance away from him the entire time. Mayor Hunter also believes that some changes need to be made at the police department and that much of what has happened is politically motivated. You know, I ran um, for mayor on an on a open door policy and um, they, didn't, um, they didn't really approve of that. Lieutenant Randolph disagrees. Well, they are certainly entitled to their opinion, but being that the Chief Kim Coughlin and I have done nothing wrong. I'm not sure what their basis would be to replace us. Whether it's politically motivated or not, Crosby Mayor James Hunter says he wants the entire situation to go away so that he can get back to fixing the issues at hand in Crosby. The city of Crosby has a lot of problems, but um, they can all be worked out. I think with um, teamwork, um, and the community uh, pulling together can solve all of the issues that we have in Crosby. Hunter will next appear in court for a motions hearing next Wednesday at the Crow Wing County Courthouse. Reporting in Crow Wing County, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. Ed Shaw says that at the hearing on Wednesday, he will seek a motion that all charges against Hunter be dropped. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.